Hello guys, this is Vikram. In the last video, we learned about DWG compare tool. Following that, I have another powerful command in AutoCAD called field. Trust me, it is a game changer if you know how and where to use it. Having said that, let's get started. As always, I will start with my template file. Let me create a basic triangle. Then type field on the command box to open the field setting dialog box. Under the field category, you have lots of options to choose from. For this example, I am going to select objects. Then, then click on this green button to select the object. It will list down all the properties of the selected objects. I am going to select area and you can change the format and precisions here. Click on OK to place the field. Let me increase the text height. Now if you stretch the object and type RE to regenerate, it will update the inserted field and give the correct area. Let me show you one more example. This time I am going to select a layer. As you can notice, this object is in layer 0. I will change it to heavy layer. And if you type RE, it will update all the fields in the drawing. But be careful, when you move an object, you also move the field along. To avoid this, I always create the fields inside the block. Let me show you how you can do that. I'll create a basic block. And insert area field as shown before. And change the format to architecture. I will also add attributes and place distance field. To update the tags, go to insert and expand block definition and select synchronize and select the block. Now I will make changes to the block as you can see when I type region on the command box, this will update all the fields in the drawing. Let me show you the most used cases in Architecture Studios. Go to Layout tab and type Field on the command box and select the viewport and select the custom view and select the format and click on OK to place the field. As you update the viewport scale, it automatically updates the field so you don't need to update that in the sheets every time. Likewise, you can also add date and time, so it will always have the latest date when you plot the PDF or print. That's it guys. I hope you learned something new. Make sure you like and subscribe. Until our next video, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace.